Welcome to the Telium Challenger series. Today we'll be talking about configuring Adobe Analytics. My name is Jason and I'm the team lead of the Deployment Engineering team. We'll be going over configuring the complex Adobe Analytics tag in just four easy steps. Let's go over the solution. First, we will add the Adobe Analytics tag from the TIQ Marketplace. We'll fill out the vendor information, perform any necessary data mappings, then we will add the do plugins and plugins and modules that we receive from Adobe as extensions within Telium. So let's get started. First, we're running on just a basic e-commerce site running on Magento, and we have the Telium integration for Magento installed on here as well to give us a basic data layer that we can utilize. So let's go into the Telium IQ. We'll go to the Tags tab, click on Add Tag, and we'll search for Adobe, and choose the Adobe Analytics app measurement for JS, click on add and now we'll fill out the vendor configuration information so first thing we'll do is add in the report suite followed by the server input our internal link filters and lastly the namespace Okay, that's all we need to do for our tag configuration. So we'll click on next, and we're presented with an option to specify any type of load rule that we want to have for this tag. Since it's an analytics tag, we'll want this to run on all pages, so we'll take the default here and click next. And now we're presented with our data mappings. This is where we can take data from our data layer and send that over to the Adobe tag. So with that Magento integration that we have, we have a variable called page underscore name, which gives us just a description of the page that we're looking at. And so I want to go ahead and send that to our page name attribute for Adobe. We'll click on close. And I have searching capabilities on my e-commerce site. So I want to take these search results and the search keyword and send that over to a couple prompts. So we'll go ahead and search for our search keyword, click select destination, go to the category for props, and we'll go ahead and fill out prop two. And our search results, we will go ahead and use as prop three. Now, in addition to this, I want to fire off an event when a user loads a certain type of page. So I want to know when they load a category page versus a search page versus a product details page. So what we'll do here is we have another variable called page underscore type that gives us this breakdown. We'll go to the events section here. And when page type equals category, we want to go ahead and trigger event one. When it equals search, we'll trigger event two. And when it equals product, we'll trigger the prod view. Click add, close. And now we are finished with the Adobe Analytics configuration here in this wizard. So we'll click on finish. And now we need to add in the do plugins and plugins and modules. So to do that, we'll go over to the Adobe interface under admin is code manager and we'll see the option here for javascript new this is their app measurement library so we'll go ahead and download that and then we have it available here so what we'll do is we'll first take on the do plugins so we'll take s.use plugins equals true and go all the way down until we find s.do plugins equals s underscore do plugins go back into telium here go to the extensions tab Click on Add Extension, go to Advanced, and choose JavaScript. We'll go ahead and give this the title of Do Plugins. And we'll want this to be scoped strictly to the Adobe Analytics tag, and then paste that in. And we'll want to do the same thing for Plugins and Modules. So go Advanced, JavaScript Code, give it the title Plugins and Modules, scope it to Adobe Analytics. Now we want to go ahead and take all of our plugin information and get all of that. Okay, so we'll copy that, paste it into our container. And then uh, the last step here is we want these to fire in the correct order. So we want plugins and modules to actually execute before do plugins. So we'll just drag it above the do plugins extension. And I just want to talk real quickly about our e-commerce extension. So our e-commerce extension is what allows you to predefine order values and product values um, based on your data layer. And our tags will automatically ingest this and map the data accordingly. So in the case of Adobe, we'll automatically populate our product string based on these product variables being defined on the page. So let's go ahead and save this off. We'll push this out to our dev and QA so we can test Adobe. 
and publish. Great, now that the publish is finished, let's go ahead and go back to our e-commerce site and take a look at our Adobe Debugger here at the same time. Let's go ahead and refresh the page to pull down the most recent version of Telium. And now we can see that Adobe is on the site. We can see our report suite. We can see our tracking server. We can see our namespace. We can see our page name that we've defined in here. And we can see that our do plugins and modules are also running because we're automatically populating different props and e-vars. So let's go ahead and go to a category page we now see that we have event one firing uh, like we have had configured. Let's go ahead and do a search for pants. We can see event two triggered. We can see that prop two populated our search term and prop three populated our search results. We can see four items are here. And let's go ahead and just go to our product detail page. And we can see that the prod view event has fired and that the product string was also populated here with all the pertinent information. So this concludes our Challenger series here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any other challenges that you would like to submit, you can do so at telium.com challenge. Thank you and have a great day.